the Bongleng village is the last village of India that borders with Bhutan. So this is the two villages which are on the uh, left side of the Tawangchu River uh, where the Tawangchu Tide International Kayaking is going on. And then the schools also have been uh, in the villages. Uh, like Bongleng village is having up to class 8. Tourism and other things are also going to be boosted up. I was being told by the kayakers that, you know, Timre so sa, timre sa, timre so sa, timre sa. Hi, this is Puja and in this video we are going to discuss about the history of Bongleng village where the Tawangchu Kayaking Tides 2024 is going on. So sir, tell me about the history of this village. We are here now in uh, Bongleng village side of the Tawangchu River, uh, having the Tawangchu Tides uh, Kayaking uh, International uh, Festival here. Uh, the Bongleng village is the last village of India that borders with Bhutan. So Bongleng village has been there for, you know, uh, since time immemorial in this particular place. And then Bongleng village has a population of around 2,000 people. And then adjacent to east is the Kharung village, uh, which has around uh, 500 uh, population. So this is the two villages which are on the uh, left side of the Tawangchu River, uh, where the Tawangchu Tides, you know, uh, international kayaking is going on. Here, Bongleng is also quite big village. There are three gram panchayat here, and more than around 300. 400 to 500 uh, ska village population is ka, Bongleng ka. Sir, also we have seen the like, communication gap between this village because you have told this is the last village of Arunachal Pradesh bordering Bhutan. So I want to know about the education of the girls as the girls are here. So I want to know about the education. Uh, this is the last village of India bordering with Bhutan. Now uh, because of the government efforts, uh, a lot of development also has happened and this falls under the constituency of the Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh, Sri Pema Khandu. So it is his constituency and now uh, the roads also have come and then the schools also have been uh, in the villages. Uh, like Bongleng village is having up to class 8. So the girls education, these girls are from uh, Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyalaya, which is uh, specifically for girls who are dropout children. So education level also is, you know, uh, increasing, uh, in rising uh, in this remote part of the country. And, and also the international uh, sport athletes are coming here, right? That this is the last village of Arunachal Pradesh. So how the village is getting benefited from it? Uh, this is a rare uh, international event of kayaking which is happening in this remote village area. So this is a very good opportunity for the people also to get uh, used to uh, this water sports uh, kayaking. And then because of this now, uh, this is going to be an annual event uh, starting from this year uh, with the patron uh, of the Chief Minister Pema Khandu. So uh, the tourism and other things are also going to be boosted up. I was being told by the kayakers that, you know, this uh, is a very good uh, location for kayaking. And uh, thank you. Thank you for joining India today, Annie. I, I've got every answer from you. And lastly, we want to um, no, we wanna hear a song, a tribal song, a local song from you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining India today, Ani. Thank you. Okay, three, two, one, go.